You have 45 new voice messages. Voice message received at 4.12. Oi, gay boy. It's fucking Bobby D, bro. You tell Brett and DC that I fucking love them like my brothers, even though I've never had brothers, but you come to like... You should have been, well, we should have grown up together and been best mates and like, I just wish I could, I just love you cunts. Or you can come back, I'll shout you the bag of rats if you can to come back to Bello and hit it with us, the Rufus cunt. I want to snort bag with you mad motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. organization and skill level <laughs> man they've come so fast since the first time I heard them for sure like crazy it's the loud element which is cool like it's just balls out rock and roll which is sick there's no click tracks there's no sync it's just three dudes playing their instruments real loud and having a great time and good old-fashioned fucking rock and roll mate my favorite track off the uh, record is bad habits I don't like bad habits bad habits bad habits bad habits bad habits, bad habits. it's all right it's no trouble that one I think it relates to everyone in some ways I definitely resonate with it Pledge shoes, as stupid as a stupid does, which is a big thing to try and film. Such a special moment. The whole brother sister vibe, the female male vocal. I just love that track so much. It's a cool thing to have at the show. Brother and sister combo on stage. When you walk the walk and talk the talk, then maybe you will get it. Stupid is stupid does. We've come undone. We're having fun. So we went through that enough. Cause it takes me and you to fuck it.
Iggly Wiggly Wee Water Babies, $30. Yeah, that's a nice thing. It's just got a baby in the bottle and all that kind of crap. <laughs> <laughs> the stroller just like rolls so well. So when Money Man bringing it out, it's yeah. just like... <laughs> Sometimes, so then see everyone walking around with shirts and stuff, it's super, super special. Do you favourite character of Dick's? I know. Ow! What the fuck? No plans, favourite song. It's all about telling people, fuck you, and I'm doing what I'm doing, even though people said I couldn't. I told we were in the studio with you as well, he'd always try and, ha and bring it back to like imagine playing this live and it's sort of sick to have songs that you when you're, when you're recording and you're really thinking about how they're going to go down like. So having him at Brisbane and being able to play on it was epic. He's like, always come up you fucking show. It's sick, it's like it, it won't be the last time you're on stage and you think Jack, you're coming by hook or by crook. such a huge energy about it. It brings heaps of ah, crazy vibes. <laughs> Impressive costume tags. Everyone is crazy They don't need to be as kind as they are to all the smaller bands, but they are just the most generous giving people and seriously, can't explain how good of a time we had with them. I'll definitely remember this tour forever. Mountains come and go, but Aussie pub rock goes on forever. Such a good way to close out the set, oh my god. Aussie pub rock, it means so much. The community around it with all these bands that are supporting each other and keeping that pub rock feeling alive. It's so, so cool to be a part of. It's like that DIY, but like now it's on a massive scale kind of vibe. Yeah, it's amazing to see. It's amazing to see these people do this kind of stuff and know that it just all goes back to this Aussie pub rock, like community, let's love each other, let's just play mad shows 
feeling. I mean, as a set finisher as well, it's just like it just gets stuck in your head, and you know it is. It's a throwback to all the songs that everyone's put their hands in the air and sung along to at some stage. Yeah. Seeing these guys, you know, smash it out and like pushing that vibe still is awesome. You know? I think I think this is a very good stepping stone in you know bringing awareness to the Aussie pub rock scene, you know, and it might move from Aussie pub rock to Aussie pub stadium. I remember that day distinctly where that concept of that song come from. Brett was on acid laying on the bed and we stopped at this like truck stop in like Switzerland. We're like, oh the Swiss house, like, because we're in Switzerland. Like, oh fuck the Swiss house. <laughs> they blurted that line out. Mountains may come and go, but Aussie pub rock lives on forever. Ski!